Got kind of an urgent video today. If you are an Apple device user of any kind, iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS, Watch OS, you need to install a patch that has gone out for all of those devices, and it is critical that you do. I'll explain in a second, but first, let me show you the patches that you need to install. All of these were just released basically a few hours ago, so you probably don't have them if you didn't go and manually install them yourself. Or more technically, you have to manually check for the update. Even if you have automatic update installed, it might not install these right away. So for example, in iOS or iPad OS, you go to general and then software update, and then it'll check and you hit download and install now. So specifically, these patches are for iOS and iPad devices, 14.8. For Mac OS devices, if it's OS X Big Sur, it's 11.6, and for Catalina, it's the 2021-005 Catalina update, and for Watch OS, it's 7.6.2. So again, basically any Apple device. All right, so now we can get into what the actual deal is with this exploit, why it's such a big deal, and why I would consider it basically a nuclear tier exploit, possibly the worst kind imaginable. Basically, this exploit is called forced entry. This is an exploit that has been actively used since at least around February and even was able to bypass the additional blast door security features added by Apple to iOS in 14. And basically, this exploit is the one used by the infamous Pegasus spyware, which was created specifically for governments to be able to spy on supposedly criminals and stuff, but maybe is being used by more malicious organizations and it allows through a simple text message through iMessage no clicks involved by the user to basically have their phone completely taken over so access to the microphone camera all data on the phone supposedly then is able to be stolen by this organization whoever has access to this type of spyware can simply send a text message the user sees nothing from what I understand, and it basically uses PDFs or something to exploit some kind of image engine in iOS without doing anything. So that's why it's called no click, and that's what makes it so bad. There's literally nothing you can do to protect against it, except for installing this new patch, which before then you couldn't even really do anything about it. Now, I do wanna make it clear before you get too worried that this exploit in the spyware at this moment is believed to be extremely rare. It has been highly targeted to mostly high profile political figures. For example, the president of France is one that is believed to be infected by this Pegasus software, or at least his phone. And there's also been journalists, activists, from different countries who also were on a list, basically of phone numbers that as a result of an investigation, I forget who, they were able to somehow uncover this list of phone numbers that this company who created this spyware was looking at potentially. And there were about 50,000 people on this list. But again, most of them were probably high profile political figures. So if you're not one of those or even potentially a family member of them or maybe like a high profile CEO or something, you probably don't have anything to worry about. No offense, but us mere mortals are probably not exactly worth putting the effort into spying on. Now, if you are relatively concerned, there is actually a way you can detect potentially whether or not your phone had been infected at some point by this spyware. Basically, Amnesty International, that organization, released a spyware detection toolkit that can be implemented to detect whether or not the hallmarks of this spyware exist on your phone. And actually, one software that I'm aware of implemented this toolkit into their software that you can use to check for free. It's called iMazing. I actually ran it on my computer. It is a paid program, but they do have a free trial, and in the free trial, you can do the spyware check. So I'll put that link in the description. I did do it myself. Basically what it does is it creates a backup. If you go to the main menu or whatever, you click detect spyware, or if you create a backup first and then do detect spyware, it'll use that same backup. It'll go through and you just follow the procedure. It'll check a whole bunch of stuff. It'll say doing a backup, then analyzing the backup. And then at the end, it will give you a report and say whether or not it believes that spyware was detected on your phone and also maybe some additional warnings or something. And you can see when I did it, fortunately, it did say there was no spyware found, that there were a couple warnings, but when I looked at the Excel spreadsheet, those were just for some shortened Twitter URLs that it couldn't parse out, I guess, but I know what those were, so it wasn't a big deal. I found out about this from a CNET article, and on there it does say that there is a small chance for false positives. So if it does say that you got a false positive, then it's recommended that you contact the iMaze support, and also at that point, take the SIM card out of your phone and turn off your phone just in case it is a real positive, and basically hear back in case 
it is true that you have been infected by the software or rather spyware, it could be pretty devastating. But again, for a vast majority of people, this is not something you probably have to worry about, but absolutely install the patch because this is really such a critical extreme exploit that you don't even want to take a chance. So yeah, pretty much just wanted to go over that. Pretty important, but now you know what to do at least. If you want to subscribe, be sure to do that and click the bell next to the subscribe button. I usually only upload around twice a week, so you don't want those videos to get lost in the rest of your subscriptions. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. Give this video a like, let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.